once you got into the 21st century and technology was so available to everybody that essentially you didn't need a record company you know then yeah people like wiley could get their music out and once it's out on a pirate radio it's, i mean lovers rock managed to circumvent the record industry through sound system culture mm -hmm. Yes. Pirate radios were sound systems. Yes. It's just on the airwaves instead of in a dance hall. Yeah, it was yeah. exactly the same thinking went on. But now you've got a massive audience. You know, you've got a 14-year-old kid who could never go to a dance or never go to a record shop, can listen to grime and actually listen to grime as it's supposed to be yes. presented. Yes. Not, mm -hmm. you know, this isn't some Radio 1 producer's mm -hmm. idea. It's, I mean, there's a good example. In exactly the same way as Radio 1 launched after the ships, you know, the ships yes. showed the BBC up, so they launched Radio mm -hmm. 1, poached a load of DJs from the ships. This was the same, one extra, yeah. Radio 1 extra. It was one year, the, or the year before extra finally got going, was um, there was a survey in London, and more people, rinse, which yeah. was still illegal at that point, came out above Radio 1 in this listener's chart. And that's that's deep shame for yes. the BBC, really. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So they thought they had to do something about this. Poached a load of DJs. And for the first three or four years, it, it was kind of all right, you know. Uh, it was a bit anarchic, but it was kind of supposed to be. <laughs> Stressing the brain, complain to the fool. Stressing the brain, complain to the max. I'm gonna search for big money stacks. Top tens on platinum plaques and got no need for a chain of a chat. I'm a rude wet and gargan dat. Got this game in my hand like that. Got this game in my hand, be cool.